Japan is the next stop on the World Endurance Championship calendar as Round 7 sees the teams converge on Fuji Speedway. Former F1 driver Kazuki Nakajima knows that there'll be plenty of interest from Japanese race fans as he and the Toyota LMP1 team arrive in the Far East. The WEC race is as nearly as big as F1, it's a World Championship race. We get quite a lot of fans there and yeah, importantly it's our home race, so I'm always excited to be there. Originally planned as a super speedway, the track has gone through several redesigns since the 1960s. But the current layout is four and a half kilometers long with 16 turns. Nakajima knows it well, having driven the track in multiple categories, including Formula One back in 2007 and 2008. The track is a combination of very long straight and uh, the twisty section and a bit of high speed corners. So. For well, the car setup, it's very difficult. Uh, you have to kind of compromise uh, the setup for straight line or the slow speed stuff. It's always a challenge to set up the car right. And uh, for the drivers, it's always exciting because there's quite a good chance for the overtaking and the sector two, the high speed section is always exciting. In the WEC, fields are far larger than in Formula One. And with four different classes on track, traffic management is always part of the race strategy for the LMP1 racers. To drive there uh, with the traffic in Super GT, so I have not much problem. But sometimes you can be unlucky uh, with the traffic. But the track is quite wide, so I think it's easier to deal with the traffic compared to some other truck. Last year, Toyota's victory at Fuji, with fellow Japanese driver Kamui Kobayashi taking the checkered flag, went some way to making up for the crushing disappointment of their defeat at Le Mans when Nakajima's car lost power on the final lap. Nakajima has been robbed of the victory with three and a half minutes left. This is disaster and tragedy for Toyota. What happened last year basically made us stronger. I think uh, we are even more hungry to win this race because of last year's incident. It gave us more motivation to prepare for this season and uh, we had probably the best preparation ever in our program. Now we feel like we are ready to fight. With mechanical gremlins again ruining the Le Mans dreams this year, a win at Fuji is essential as Nakajima and his number eight team chase Porsche for the overall title. Let's see what happens, but uh, it's a very important race to show that we can fight again uh, in front of our home country.